Hey everybody, it's Jerry here. And today we're gonna be working on kind of a DIY project. Um, just recently, uh, one of my garage door openers uh, stopped working. So we're gonna go in here into the garage and um, try to diagnose it, figure out what's wrong with it and see if we can't fix it ourselves. So uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. Now I'm gonna switch you around, switch the video around. Okay, so here's my door opener that uh, quit working. As you can see, it's a uh, Alistair Access 200 uh, door control system. Um, I, the sticker on the bottom here actually says it was installed in 1991. So, as you can see, it's, it's got a few years under its belt. Uh, it's been working good uh, all up until the other day. So, I've already disconnected the power uh, source before I start working on it. And so let's go ahead and climb up on the ladder and we'll take a look to see what we'll see if we can tell what's going on. All right, gang, uh, just kind of give you a close up of actually the tag here. Um, you can see it's a, a model AC 200, uh, one third horsepower uh, garage door opener made by Alistair. Um, it looks actually relatively in good shape if we climb up here and get on top. Sorry about the light. I know it's going to be dark up here. Um, but it looks like everything up here looks like it's in good shape. Um, the switch controls look like they're operating correctly. Um, the chain looks in good shape. Pull this little cover off. Uh, the gears look like they're all right. So really nothing obvious up here. So we're going to have to get into the cover and see what's going on. So the cover is just held on by... Uh, four screws, two on this side, two on the other. So let's get the cover off and uh, see what we can see. All right, hang in there. All right, gang, uh, welcome back. Uh, once we got the cover off, it was pretty obvious uh, what's going on inside this uh, garage door opener. As you can see here, we have a, uh, a piece of the uh, belt uh, which has come off uh, just laying inside the uh, garage door opener cover and the uh, the belts you can see here is all shredded and you know see how loose. So this dry pulley, this is a dry pulley and this is a driven pulley. So this dry pulley is just slipping uh, on the belt, not driving the dry uh, driven pulley, and that's causing obviously the door not to work. <clears throat> so um, looks like all we're going to have to do. Everything else looks like in pretty good shape. Um, it does uh, the chain does move um, when you actually rotate. Uh, they're driven pulley, so it looks like the gearbox and everything else is in good shape. Um, I know that the motor is running because when I do try to open it, I hear a humming noise, so I know that's turning. So let's go ahead and get a replacement belt, and we'll go ahead and replace it and see what happens. All right? All right, guys. Hang in there. All right, gang. Um, it's been a few days later, and as you can see here, we do actually have our um, replacement belt here. So on the door opener itself, the proper way to do it. So the proper way to do it would be to loosen this uh, lockdown screw that locks this pulley to this shaft, remove it, fish the belt around, push the belt here, slide everything up to proper alignment, tighten it back down, and everything should be in good shape. <clears throat> now what I'm gonna do is because this is a relatively um, small pulley and um, the belt is relatively small also. I'm gonna try um, without removing anything, put the uh, dry belt here, start it, and then turn this driven pulley and walk the belt around into the groove. Um, I'm doing this uh, by myself. Uh, I don't have a camera stand uh, tall enough to actually show you this. So let me try this uh, first and I'll let you guys know how it goes. So hang in there. All right, gang, uh, welcome back. And as you can see, we do have the uh, belt on. And uh, quite honestly, uh, it was relatively easy um, just to put the uh, belt on here, start it on this pulley, and then walk it around. I didn't have to uh, take this pulley it off and, uh, and uh, have to adjust the alignment uh, putting it back on. So it went on real easy. So just for a test, let's go ahead and Plug the power back in. All right, I have the power plugged back in into here. So we, we are live now. 
And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead over here. This is my garage door opener controls. It's garage door number two. And we're just gonna see if everything's working. Okay. Obviously I don't have the door hooked up to it right now, but looks like everything is turning. So what we're doing now is I'm gonna go ahead and button everything up, disconnect the power again, button everything up, uh, reconnect the door and see how everything goes. All right. I got the cover back on, everything buttoned up, everything looks good. Uh, I have the power plugged in. Uh, I did uh, reconnect uh, the door to the uh, slide. So let's go ahead and check it out and see how we did. All right, here we go. All right, looking good. And now up. Oh. Awesome. I'm going to spin you guys back around. All right, gang. Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, job well done. As you can see, um, even uh, like garage door openers uh, is something that you might not be very familiar with. Um, it may be just very uh, something very simple that you can take care of yourself without having to call a doorman and having a, uh, a very expensive uh, service charge. So I ended up uh, just ordering the belt uh, off of Amazon. It was a very common uh, belt uh, and uh, it serves actually a bunch of different models for that particular garage door opener. So I hope this helps. Uh, if you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button up here in the corner. Uh, please leave me some comments if you like this video. And like always guys, if you put your mind to it, you can do anything. All right, guys. Take care. See ya.